Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really sweet nurse's uniform, but it could, if you change the colours, it could be many other kind of key workers and things like that. So you could take out the retirement, you could just have a thank you running along the bottom here. I've also used my NHS stamp, which is from the Creative Stamps, and I'll link the supplies to everything I've used in the description box below. These are some clip art in images that I just took off the computer. Everything else is very straightforward to do. And it's actually just a slightly different size version of the male shirt, the shirt card. That's what the tutorial was. And I will link it up here and it will also be linked at the end. So if you would like to see that one as well, because the arm size is slightly different and I've done slightly different measurements and the collar's a bit different. And there's also buttons on that one. Really cute, has a sentiment running along the bottom. But I just wanted to show you a different way and how you can transform it into you know, this nurse's outfit. And if you made it white, you could make it into a doctor's jacket as well. So loads of ways to do this, very easy to do. So let me show you how. Okay, so first of all, you're gonna want your card blank. So I'm using a five by seven card blank. If you don't have pre-made cards, then you can just cut a piece of 10 by five and along the 10 inch side, just score it five inches and then you fold it in half and there's your card blank. Then I've just got a standard mat. So this is four and three quarters by six and three quarters and that will go on the top. But it's this piece here that we will create most of the, the kind of shape really of the, the tunic. So I'm just gonna grab my ruler here. Okay, so what you want to do is along the top here, with it in portrait orientation, just come in both sides at one and a quarter inches. So mark with a pencil at one and a quarter, and then you can just mark with a pencil at three and a half, because that would be one and a quarter from that side there. You also want to mark the middle uh, point, so, and that's at two and three eighths, just in the middle there. Okay, from that two and three eighth marker, you want to come down two inches. So I'm just bringing in this ruler, because it's much easier to get a perfect straight line. And you just want to, Put a mark at two here and then just very lightly, you're going to be folding this over, so you're not really going to see any of this, but you can also just flip this over before we stick it down. But I'm just putting a faint pencil mark two inches down there. What we're going to do is we're going to cut down here and then we're going to fold across to these points here. So it's very straightforward kind of, you know, process really. It's just all the decoration that really turns it into that nurse's uniform. So I'm just cutting down. Now you can cut down further. You could have your lapel wider. Once you see how it's done, there's so many ways to just change this. So I've just cut down there and then I just want to fold across. So it's easier just to bring in your ruler. You don't need to get your scoreboard out. Lie your ruler down from the pencil mark to the end of the cut line. So like so. And then I'm just going to pull it up. And then just with my bone folder, I'm just going to just kind of help that up like that. Now I'm going to attach this with some foam tabs. So I'm going to, almost you want to just put a little bit of a curl into it. So just between your fingers and your thumb, just kind of have it so it curls over. And then we're just going to add a little bit of foam. And I just like that, that dimension to it. I just think it gives it a little bit more of an authentic kind of look. And we're going to pop another lapel because it's actually going to be a double lapel on this as well, or double collar, whatever you want to call it. So then you want to do the same on here. So I'm just lining up my pencil mark with the corner or the end of that cut line. And again, just pull it over and just really burnish that. And again, just kind of put a little bit of a, a curl into it. Now I've got this piece here because I want to, because I want to back that so it, you know, it looks like the inside of the tunic or the shirt but I've also got this NHS stamp and I want to stamp that so it's, it's almost like um, I'm putting some branding on the uniform so if you're unaware of what the NHS is if you're outside the UK this is our National Health Service so that's what I want to stamp inside there so I'm going to I think I'm going to stick this down first and then I'm going to stamp it in my stamping platform so I'm just going to grab my glue here so I've got this stamp here which should just fit inside of there I'm going to use the VersaFine just to get a nice intense black stamped image. Okay, so that's all done. I'm really pleased with how that looks. Then I've got this piece here, which is going to form the double lapel. So this is one and a quarter by one inch. And you just want to just cut it on the diagonal there. So point to point in the trimmer and just cut that in half. And I also need to put some white behind this as well and we'll do that in a moment so this is basically going to go how did I do it so I want it 
just like that. We're going to stick one over the top. Now we will trim some little ends off. It's kind of like you're kind of patching it all together, but it's using, you know, things that we've all got. You know, even if you don't have a trimmer, you'll have some scissors. But we'll just trim, we'll snip little ends there. But can you see how that just one sits over the other and it will give us that double lapel. But I do want to put some white behind this because when you look on a nurse's uniform, they always have like a white trim around here. Okay, so this here is a piece of two and one eighth by one and three eighths. And again, you just want to cut it on the diagonal. And I've made it just a little bit bigger, but when you stick it down, you'll have a white border like so. And we can just trim that piece that overhangs. But it's just a quick way to get a white border around your collar. So I'm going to stick that down just, and then that one can go behind there. So there's my kind of trim. Okay, and then I'm going to stick now this one over the top. So it's up to you how high up you want it. You might want it so that it joins, you know, the point there. But I like that you have this piece overhanging here. So, you know, it's it's all, a lot of this is down to personal preference really. And, you know, uniform colors might vary slightly and yours might have a detail. The, the lapel, you might know exactly how the color of the uniform looks. So you can obviously, you know, match it to that. But And then I'm gonna pop this one over this side. So just make sure you get it the same height. Don't worry about this bit at the bottom because we're gonna change that up in a minute. Okay, if I just bring it up, you can see what I've done there, what I've got so far, okay. Before I start doing this next bit, I'm going to get the arms stuck down. And these pieces here, these are two pieces of one and a half by two and a half. Again, you might want to have different kind of lengths, but I'm going to stick it so the point lines up with the point here. But you might want it sticking out further like this. You might want it, you know, really kind of tight like that. It's entirely up to you. I am going to put a white trim on this. So if you do want to do the white trim and you want it like this, then I'd stick the white trim on first. But I'm going to have mine like so. And this will fold in. The arms fold in so that when the card stands up, the you know the arms kind of stick out a little bit. So I'm just going to pop some glue up to that corner there. And again, just kind of cover that area. This is all going to get stuck down, so you're not going to see any of the back of it. So you don't need to worry about what it looks like. But you can kind of move it a little bit now, you know, and decide... I think that's quite good. I like that. So I'm going to do that one there. Just kind of make sure you have the same, whatever the distance is there. So it's, it's half an inch. So I want, yeah, that needs to just come in a bit more, but make sure that point is always at the top there. Okay. Now I want to add some, well, I just want to add a very thin trim of white along both of these. So they're one and a half wide. So you just want to cut um, just something, you know, whatever colour it is you're using. And then I'm just going to do the like, just over one eighth of an inch. You know, it's entirely up to you. Whatever you do one, I just hold it up and then just sit that one next to it there because it's such a small measurement, but that's about right. So now I've got those two pieces there and then I'm just going to stick them about half an inch up on each of the sleeves, which again, you know, I've, I have used a picture for reference of a nurse and they're, they're about there, okay? Now again, before I stick these down, I am gonna get this in place because I wanna kind of have that piece coming down and then this one just kind of hidden. You can see already now it starts to, you know, make it look like this nurse's uniform. So I'm going to tack these down, well I'm, I'm going to glue them down and then I'm going to put the foam behind here so they, they're kind of just lifted like that. I need to put a little bit of a curve into it again because the white has made it obviously very straight when I added that so I'm just going to bring that down, lay that in place and then I can start looking at where I need to put my watch and everything else. I want to have some pocket detail here as well. So I'm going to well, I'm going to start sticking all this down really because you know this is all down to everybody's style is going to be different. But I have then got a strip to go through the center there before I stick this sentiment down, and I'll tell you about that in a minute because we just need to trim that up.
Okay, so if I just bring it up, that's that all stuck down, but now I need to make it look like a tunic. So I've got this strip here and I've put two on top of each other. It's half an inch. It's going to be trimmed, but it's half an inch at the minute. It's just a bit of scrap by seven and a half, okay? But what you want to do is you want it to go underneath whatever triangle's on the top, okay? Like so. And then we're just going to trim these two little pieces here so it looks like it's attached to this side of the, the collar. So if it was to be taken off, for example, this side would lift. And... So it will sit, for me, it's going to sit slightly to the left, but the, the idea is, is that this side here runs completely centred with the card. Does that make sense? So I'm, I'm really trying to get it to look like this uniform, but it's up to you. You might just want to put buttons on here or so on. But you can see that, actually, if I just line up this corner here, this right corner, with the, this, with the middle part here, that's where I want it to be, actually. So all I need to then do in a minute is I'm just going to trim this little bit here. So I've done two just to give it some dimension. I just think it looks quite nice. Like I said, you will trim trim off some of this, but I'm just gonna very carefully pop that under there, like so. And then just lay this down nice and straight. Again, I'm just gonna bring in this ruler because I can line that up there and then I can make sure Everything else lines up like so. And then I'm just going to just very snip up nice and straight like so. There we go. And then I just need to now snip over here on the back. Make sure everything lies nice and straight. Okay, so now I just need to do my pockets there. So again, I'm going to do, I think, half half an inch. And I'm going to double them up so I've got that same kind of height. So I think that looks quite nice. So what I'm actually going to do is just put some glue on this. So again, this is half an inch by, you know, whatever length you need. You know, seven inches long. But, you know, lots of you will be doing so many different things. With this. There is no white trim on the pockets. So, um, but you could add that if you want the pockets to be a bit more defined but I'm just folding that in half while that's drying I'm just going to bring this in because that is going to run right along the very bottom and then the pockets will be just above that so that one can stick down there and again it's that full width four and three quarters and then I just kind of you know work my way down with the mats and the layers there the happy retirement mum I just printed off the computer because I've got happy retirement, I've got mum, but to have them all together and fit within this section, it was just easier for me to print it out. But I think it's coming together really nicely. Just need to add these pockets. So I'm going to do one and a half. Yeah, I think one and a half. So we will end up trimming a little bit of it off. So I'm just going to one and a half. By half an inch okay so you'll want two of those again all the measurements will be on my blog now I'm going to lay this down so that the bottom corner lines up with the side of the um, yeah so this bottom corner is going to run flush with here so there'll be a little bit overhanging but I want it on an angle so I think about there but by having two layers of the cardstock it does lift it and make you you notice it more as a pocket and then again just this one here just gonna snip that off there and I'm just gonna trim that away a little bit there as well because that's overhanging okay and then all that's left to do is grab my card blank and this is gonna sit perfectly and everything will be framed and I think that just really does pull it all together and just finish it off so you don't need to add glue onto this part. We're going to fold those arms in in a moment once we've stuck it down. So you just want to run your glue all the way around here. Okay, and then very carefully just bring up each of the arms and fold them because that's how you're going to pop it in the envelope. And then they can just kind of open them up, you know, the recipient when they get them, when they open the card. So yeah, I think it looks fab. Really pleased with this one. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. 
Coming up now, there should be a video with the male version. So it's the man's t-shirt that I made maybe a couple of years ago now. If you click on that box, then that will take you to that tutorial if you'd like to see that version. Also, if you haven't subscribed, just click on my face here as well. It would be really much appreciated and you'll get to see more fun tutorials. And I've got a ton of playlists as well with lots more fun cards that you can look at. So thank you for watching and I'll be back again very soon. Bye.